Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. What is a wildfire? A wildfire is an uncontrolled and rapidly spreading fire that occurs in wildland areas such as forests, grasslands, and other natural environments. These fires are categorized by their ability to spread quickly due to a combination of factors, including dry vegetation, strong winds, and favorable weather conditions. What conditions are needed for a wildfire to start? For a wildfire to start, several key elements need to come together. These elements are often referred to as the fire triangle, and they include fuel, heat, and oxygen. Fuel, this is anything that can burn. In a natural environment, the fuel for forest fires includes dry grass, leaves, twigs, branches, and trees. The type and amount of fuel can vary depending on the location and the time of year. Heat. Heat is what causes the fuel to ignite. Heat can come from different sources such as lightning, which is a natural electrical discharge during a thunderstorm, which can strike trees or dry vegetation, providing the heat needed to start a fire. Human activities. Fires can be started by people accidentally through activities like campfires, discarded cigarettes, or sparks from machinery. Volcanic activity. Sometimes volcanic eruptions can release hot ash and lava, which can ignite fires. The third part of the fire triangle is oxygen. Oxygen is in the air we breathe, and it is necessary to sustain combustion, which is the process of burning. When fuel combines with oxygen and heat, it produces flames and fire. When these three elements come together in the right conditions, a fire can start and spread rapidly. This is why it's important to be cautious with fire in areas with lots of dry vegetation, especially during dry and windy weather, as these conditions can make it easier for wildfires to ignite and grow. Preventing wildfires and managing them when they do occur require careful attention to these elements and taking steps to reduce the risk of fires spreading out of control. How do wildfires start? Wildfires can be placed into two categories based on their origin and behavior. Natural wildfires. These are wildfires that start without human involvement and are primarily ignited by natural factors. As explained before, lightning and volcanic activity can lead to a natural wildfire. The second category is human-caused wildfires. These wildfires are ignited by human activities as stated before. They can be accidental, or intentional and are often preventable. Some common causes of human-caused wildfires include campfires, which are not properly extinguished, cigarette butts, arson, which is a deliberate setting of fires, often for malicious reasons, or sparks from an equipment in an industrial machinery, power lines, or other equipment can create sparks which can lead to wildfires. Understanding the categories of wildfires is important for prevention, management, and firefighting efforts. Human-caused wildfires can often be prevented through education and responsible behavior, while natural wildfires are managed differently, focusing on containment and safety measures rather than prevention. What are some causes of wildfires? Wildfires can have devastating consequences, including threat to life and property. Wildfires can endanger the lives of people living in affected areas and
and destroy homes, infrastructure, and valuable property. Environmental impact. These fires can cause long-lasting damage to ecosystems by destroying plant and animal habitats, disrupting natural processes, and altering the landscape. Air quality. Wildfires release large amounts of smoke and particle matter into the atmosphere, which can lead to poor air quality and have negative health effects on humans and wildlife. Climate change. The release of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases during wildfires contributes to climate change by increasing atmospheric concentrations of these gases. Economic costs. Fighting wildfires and addressing their aftermath can be expensive, placing a significant financial burden on governments and communities. How do wildfires get managed? Efforts to manage and control wildfires include firefighting by trained personnel, the use of fire breaks, controlled burns, which is intentional controlled fires to reduce the fuel load, and public awareness campaigns to prevent human-caused fires. Additionally, technology such as satellite monitoring and early warning systems has become increasingly important in tracking and managing wildfires to mitigate their impact on people and the environment. Here are some tips on how to respond to a wildfire. Stay safe and listen to adults. The most important thing to do if there is a wildfire nearby is to stay out of the way. Listen carefully to grown-ups like your parents, teachers, or firefighters. If they tell you to leave your home or school, do it right away. Follow their instructions and don't go back until they say it's safe. Tip number two, do not play with fire. It's very important to remember that fire is not a toy. Never play with matches, lighters, or anything that can start a fire. If you see someone doing something dangerous with fire, tell an adult right away. Tip number three, have a family plan. Talk to your family about what to do if there's a wildfire. Make a plan together. Decide where you'll go if you have to leave your home and pick a meeting place in case you get separated. Also, have an emergency kit with things like water, snacks, and important items ready to go in case you need to leave quickly. These three steps can help keep you safe if a wildfire ever happens in your area. Remember, adults are there to protect you, so always follow their guidance during an emergency. Let's do a quick review. A wildfire is a very big and fast-moving fire that happens in places like forests and fields. It can be started by lightning, people, or even volcanoes. When a wildfire happens, it's important to stay safe and listen to adults. Never play with fire and always have a plan with your family for what to do if you should leave your home. Firefighters are the heroes who come to stop the fire and keep us safe. Remember, safety first. Remember, fires can't be started unless the conditions of the fire triangle are met, which means there needs to be fuel, heat, and oxygen. I hope you learned something today about wildfires. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me today. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.